This is a King James Moment, brought to you by Lighthouse Baptist Church in Grand Prairie, Texas. In discussing false prophets, Matthew chapter number 7 says, By their fruits ye shall know them. Well, since the Bible is largely a book of prophecy, I think we'd do well to examine the fruits of the King James Bible as compared to some of these Johnny-come-lately uh, modern tr English translations. If you study church history, or even just world history in general, you'll see that from 1611 to about 1900 that there were more missionaries in place doing the work of God and seeing more souls saved than at any other period of time throughout history. In the 20th century, as you see these Johnny-come-latelys coming on the scene and, and flooding the market, uh, missionary activity declined, moral standards declined, and people have become less and less receptive to Bible preaching. I believe that any objective observer who visits a church using uh, multiple versions of this, you'll hear one preacher uh, saying, well, this version says this, and this version says that, and this version says that, and the, and the congregation's flooded with their uh, different versions. I believe when you, you see that, and then you visit a church where the King James Bible is upheld as the infallible, inspired, inerrant, perfect Word of God, I think you'll see an obvious difference in the fruit Namely, the behavior of the members, uh, their demeanor, their attitude, their worldview, activities, and their goals. Even our cameraman, he's right there. You can't see him, but I can. He used to spend a lot of time moving from church to church. That was years ago. But he noticed something. He, he was telling me, and his testimony is, that the higher a church's view is of the King James Bible was when he visited, the better that church was, both psychologically, operationally, and spiritually. I realize that many people who would advocate these different versions and they're supporters of the new versions, they just love them, can't get enough of them, they'll say that that's subjective or you'll find, or you'll find some exception to that rule and pretend that it overrides the rule in general. But in the end, at the judgment seat of Christ, I think a lot of people are going to feel mighty stupid and ashamed for missing something so obvious. Just as the heathen in Romans chapter number 1 and verse number 20, uh, just as they are without excuse, I think that a lot of people are going to be without excuse when the, the evidence was so overwhelming, when the evidence was right in front of us. It was right here in black and white. Thank God for the King James Bible and the fruit that it produces. And once again, this has been a King James Moment from Lighthouse Baptist Church.